Now, for this part of the question, we're asked to estimate the mean and the standard deviation for this set of data. It's an estimate because we only know the midpoint values. We don't know exactly what all the values are. But how do we work out these estimates for the mean and the standard deviation? Well, normally what we would do is, with our calculator, we would enter into a table these values. Now, obviously this is going to vary from calculator to calculator, but generally you'd look in your manual and be able to enter these values in and work out some summary statistics and then go on to work out the calculations. But if you haven't got that facility, then you're going to have to drop back to drawing a table. And I'll show you what that table would look like. I would set it out in columns like this. I'll take my midpoint, which is now going to be my value X, and copy out these values in this bottom row here. OK? And then we've got the frequency F and I would write that down in a column. Now if we're going to work out an estimate for the mean, we've got to use this formula anyway, whether we type it into the calculator in the form of a table or not. We've got to remember that the estimated mean, let's call it x bar, is equal to sigma, the sum of your values, which is going to be xf, sigma xf, and that's divided by the total frequency. So we need these values here. Well, the total frequency is easy because we've just got to add this column up or just check out what we got up here. It's going to come to 56. So sigma okay, of f, sum of the frequencies, is going to equal 56. Now we need to work out subtotals. We know that we've got an estimate of six values each at 5.5 and 15 values at 15.5 and so on. So if we're going to work out the sum of the six values, we need to do six times 5.5. Sum of the 15 values, 15 times 15.5 and so on. So you need to construct another column, XF. And I've started this off, 6 times 5.5 is 33, and so on. And so we've got this total sigma xf. And you could check that out on your calculator. So, when it comes to working out this estimated mean then, it's easy. All we've got to do is just substitute then our values in. So the sum of xf is going to be 1316.5 divided by the total frequency, the 56 values. And if you do that, you'll find that you end up with 23.5089 and so on. And if we round that, say, to three significant figures, that's going to be 23.5 to 3SF. So that's the estimated mean. Now for the standard deviation, we've got to remember the particular formula that's associated with standard deviation. Standard deviation, let's call it SD, is going to be equal to the square root of the sum of x squared times the frequency, all divided by the total frequency, sigma f, and then it's minus the estimated mean squared. So with this formula, you can see that what we don't have is sigma x squared f. So we need to square these values and multiply them by the frequency and then add them all up. Well, I've done this for you and here we have it here. So you can check it out. 5.5 squared multiplied by 6 should come to 181.5. And if you add all these values up, there you go, you've got 37378.25. So we just need to substitute this into the formula then and just work it out. So if we just squeeze it in here, we've got sigma x squared f 37378.25 and that's divided by sigma f which is 56 and then minus 
the mean squared so you should really use the unrounded version I'm just going to put 23.5 in there because I really haven't got much room okay but assuming that you're using that version there what you should end up with is 10.7144 and so on and then if you round that say to three signum figures that's going to be 10.7 to 3 SF okay so the estimated mean and the estimated standard deviation based on that data